Hi guys, this is Fierce from Nightfall Europe server S30 S31. Today I will show you guys Godfall Honor 3 without deaths. So I've uploaded video of Honor 4 and 5 without deaths as well, but I haven't put any caption or description or any details on how to complete it. You guys have to watch and figure it out. But I will just give you some tips um, for this video. For the first mob, you just need to kill them one by one. Try not to gather them all at once and try not to make it noticing you. If it notices you, try to kill it as soon as possible. Otherwise, it will call their friends to come help. And then it's going to be hard to kill their friends because they have like very high HP. The next boss is Ninja, this one. You would have to be careful one of its skill. It will have kind of like um, a red area on the ground and then after that two, like this one, two, one or two seconds, it will throw a blowing knife, yellow knife like this. So that knife deal high damage, try to avoid it. So if you see the skill on the ground, it will start blow. Note as well that when the boss HP reach times 3, it will bring up two friends in the corner of the lights. Kill the friends first before it kills you. The friends is easy to kill and then you kill this boss. So when the boss reach again to one bar, it will turn into mist as you've seen before. You will have to activate a searchlight. It will be somewhere in the corner. So you have to activate it to see the boss. But before you activate it, make sure you have enough HP to kill it. So the first boss, um, if you want to find a hiding spot to regen your HP, I would recommend to go watch Honor 4 video because I found one spot to hide. For this one, I didn't hide because I have a lot of HP, so I didn't go there. So for this boss, um, the blowing fire, to be honest, if you stand and hit, it doesn't follow you, but if you move, it actually follows. So if you're trying to hit them while it's blowing the fire, just try not to move. Otherwise, just move very far away to hide and regen your HP. It kind of slow walking to reach you. So the lion's kind of slow walking. So you have a chance to regen your HP. So that's the hiding spot if you're running out of HP. Um, actually, you have to go lower than that because the skill still reach you. The other skill it's dangerous is this one. So if you see that triangle, red triangle area on the ground, in one or two seconds, it will start slapping you. And when it slap you, it stun you. And then you can die easily by that slap. So here is the spot you can hide, just um, jump down a little bit here and regen your HP, avoid those slapping skill <laughs> and um, the fireball also deals a lot of damage. So the fireball, I think after it blows the fire, it will, it will have like one fireball hits you. So uh, try to avoid those two skills of this boss. So once you regen, go back and fight. So that's the fireball that hits you. So my HP down for like 10% for just one fireball. So try to avoid it. It is best to use assassin in this dungeon. Once the HP reach times two or one, one, not not actually two so if you look at that it's like half of the second bar then it will start to do this i would suggest to regen first before you walk there to collect the gear case and be careful with that fire it actually comes across the gear case so be careful with it uh, so this this gun actually can kill the boss in one hit so just walk to the boss walk there and kill it with that gun easy one hit so you don't have to spend much time killing it just use that gear and it should be dead in like one second now the third boss has two bosses so 
Rui Kasama and Kagure Sakurai. Kagure Sakurai doesn't follow you, only Rui Kasama will follow you, so lure him here, kill him first. Um, his danger skill is the one that has like blade on the ground, as you can remember in Bright Dungeon, this one deals a lot of damage, so try to avoid it. Other skills is kind of okay, you can survive and avoid it easily. After you killed Ruri Kasama, Kagure Sakurai HP will go down from times 6 to times 3 bar. So uh, you can kill her easily after you kill Ruri. You can avoid her um, skills just by staying here and regen your HP. Her large area of, um, of her skills doesn't reach here. So just stay far away if you're not ready to fight. If you're ready, just go in there and beat her. Uh, the skill is kind of the same as your previous dungeon. So that laser, just avoid. She has some extra skill with the blades and those ground area, but I can see she's easy to kill than Ruri. But after she died, you still have to avoid that laser, to be honest. It's still there, so if your HP is like 10%, you just stand still. It can deal you damage, so just run away from that skill after it's just gone. And then you can go to the next stage. So, for this last boss, you will be in this map first. So it looks like Osho skill kind of the same as the world boss nothing much difference you can dodge easily but the hp is very high times 10 and takes a while for you to kill this boss um so the skill that is dangerous would be this one so it just kind of uses it tells to smash you if you're running out of hp the best way to to regen is have a lot of potion first before you enter this boss have it stored so stored your HP potion so when you walk it regens your HP like this so have a little jog around to regen don't risk your life there you don't want any deaths so play safe walk around I haven't seen any hiding spot yet for this map. No, not not really. Or maybe you can kind of stand down there, but I think you still can't avoid the skill. It's kind of close to the this ground still. Well, after I'll show HP. Um, reduced to times six uh, you will get teleport to this map same trick as before you would have to walk around regen your HP there's no hiding spot for this map so make sure you drink a lot of potions before you enter uh, Osho boss like uh, the previous map and then um, the skill you can avoid easily for this skill it will give like a, a fireballs, purple fireballs. Try to absorb it with your mortal skill. If you not absorb it, it will follow you and can kill you. So um, if you see that, that boss skill, just um, use immortal. Stand close by and use immortal and then run away. So for this freezing skill, easy to avoid, it doesn't move, but deals a lot of damage if you got, get hit by it. Here, absorb all, Oops, and then go. So assassin is easy to fight with this boss. Just um, use the rain skill instead of close fight. So this one is said to collect elements, but I'm not sure how do you 
like know which element should collect I just collect all <laughs> I just walk around and collect all I don't know what's the hint but I feel like once I collect all the elements the crystals element it hits harder so I just avoid the boss skill walk around collect crystal and hit 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 that's uh that's the tips I would share but if you guys have some more tips about this boss please do share in the comments thanks for watching this video guys i've completed honor one to five already for godfall dungeon you can take a look of my video godfall honor four and five and if you would like more videos please subscribe left a comment which video would you like have a great day cheerio bye